did some more estate selling today. Got a thing that he'd be gone, which I'd use that quite a bit. A little better pair of garden clippers than what I have. The pair I have is just doesn't clip clean. And I got these three, all three for a dollar. So I have some old outboards that these will work in. So yeah, why not? Also picked up an old home light chainsaw. Just happens to have all its paperwork and manuals and whatnot. And uh, this was $35. That's the chain adjusting wrench in that bag. So it's actually in pretty decent shape. This thing might run. We'll give it a try here shortly. This is basically the paperwork that came with it. And this is tells you how basically to sharpen your chain. I have a uh, electric chain sharpener so I'll just uh, pull a chain off at that. And it's just an instruction manual on what to do and what not to do. This home light super two automatic chainsaw so this catalog it says price one dollar. Huh. I wonder if they didn't come with the saw if you had to pay extra for them, but it's just the manual on the on the saw. Parts uh, list. I don't see any receipts in here. I'd look for a receipt to see if there is a receipt. more how to, how to and how not to use a saw and another on uh, filing teeth. So yeah, that's the manuals on the saw. Well, I did find a year in the home light manual, 1975. So maybe the saws from that era, I would guess. That was the only place where I found a year. Well, it doesn't appear there's anything in the oiler. The little duck bills there for the oiler. And uh, I think this is the fuel tank. And it's bone dry and it's actually clean. And it doesn't smell. So maybe this saw will run. Well, this is kind of crazy. I took it out and gave it a few pulls to try and start it, and then I realized, oh, obviously doesn't have spark. This wasn't connected, and when I went to connect that, I saw the broken spark plug, so we got to get a spark plug for it. I rated my hoard of spark plugs. This had a DJ7J in it, and my estate sale hoard of spark plugs, I have a DJ7Y. It looks the same. The electrode goes over just a little further like it's a four cycle plug and it's a two cycle plug. If the electrode doesn't totally go over the tip there, they're usually on for two cycles. But I think it'll work. We'll give it a try as long as it threads in the hole, it should work. I don't know if this is going to show up or not, but it definitely has spark. Well, this is a typical estate sale find again. The carburetor's gummed up. I spray a little bit of this. This stuff's pretty good stuff for cleaning two-stroke fuel systems and carbon and whatnot. But the air filter disintegrated. I had to suck it out of there with the shop vac. And I sprayed some of this in the carburetor and it fired right off one pole until it ran out of it. So I'll uh, order an air filter and a carb kit and uh, when I get time I'll turn to this. I still gotta finish this snow blower up. This is, you know, I like to do one project start to finish at a time, so finish the snow blower and then we'll uh, get this going. I'll do a I'll do a video on getting the carburetor off and rebuilding it. They're pretty simple. So the fuel hoses and everything look okay, but yeah I think it's an alright saw for what I paid for it and I usually get about a hundred bucks for these so I think it'll be a alright money maker. Well if you enjoy my videos 
please subscribe and thank you for watching again and keep an eye on my future videos as I will get this saw running. I'll uh, rebuild the carburetor and sharpen the chain.